What's up, everybody? Today we're gonna talk uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1. I didn't even know Season 2 was out. I don't have cable, so that's just that. And stars. Who knows stars? For real. Um, just a heads up, I did watch uh, Evil Dead 1, 2, and Army of Darkness before I dumped it, or dipped into this, and I gotta say, they kept it in Evil Dead fashion. That being said, so if you watch Evil Dead 1, Ash and his friends go to a cabin, and they all die, and he survives, and he's in the forest at the end. In Evil Dead 2, it starts off with just Ash and his girlfriend going up to the cabin, and she dies. <laughs> And I believe it kept with him waking up in the forest. Um, so, and then when Evil Dead 2 ends, he gets sucked through the portal with the car and some of the garbage from the house, and he lands in, uh, I forget where it is, but it's like, Medieval times-ish desert place, and, uh, a deadite bird-type thing comes at him, and he shoots it with the shotgun, and then other people come, and they're like, oh, he's from the book, he's from the prophecy, he's here to save us, and he just goes like, no, and they keep screaming, no, 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 and then, uh, Army of Darkness starts off, with a brief rundown of Evil Dead 2, where it's kind of similar, and he gets sucked through the portal with the car and everything, and uh, they do not grab him and say he's from the prophecy, the man who fell from the sky from the Necronomicon. They actually <laughs> want to kill him, and then eventually they figure out he's the guy from the prophecy to come save us <laughs> from the Deadites. Uh, also in uh, Army of Darkness, he has a metal working hand. So in Ashes vs. Evil Dead, he has a wooden hand. Um, they did keep with the ending, though. Not with the original ending for Army of Darkness. The original ending of Army of Darkness, uh, he takes a potion and he takes six drops instead of five. So he ends up a uh, hundred years past where he was. Like... Where he was when he first went to the cabin. So he wakes up and it's very futuristic and all messed up. But in the alternate, I don't guess. In the ending they went with in the movie, he wake, he wakes up in the right spot and he works at Value Mart and he's given the speech about how he could have been king and whatnot. So that part stayed true. But uh, they gave him a wooden hand and. They kept the funny, not, oh, gee, the, oh, man, this movie's so scary. They kept the funny, quirky, ash, like, groovy uh, type of stuff. But they didn't keep the bizarre cuts real quick. And uh, every episode, to me, felt rushed. Like, not rushed, rushed. Like, oh, my God, they're going so fast. But, uh. I was trying to see how long each episode is. They felt like 30 minutes, maybe? Uh, and I think they could have benefited from being an hour. But that's okay. That's just me. Uh, when, I, when I say when, what I mean when I say it felt rushed is it feels like every single episode there has to be a Deadite murder and there has to be some kind of battle. And we can't just have, like, character creation and setup and everything. But that said, like, yeah, it's Ash vs. Evil Dead. I get it. I know who Ash is. I know Evil Dead. What more do you want, you know? But, uh... Yeah, that said, it is good. But to me, the... Like, Evil Dead 2... To me, had the more comedy... The most comedy in it. And was the, like, most bizarre... And then Ash vs. Evil Dead feels a little bit more like Army of Darkness, where it's like, oh, Ash is kind of a dick, and doesn't even care, and he just wants this to all be over. Um, that said, I like the two kids that are with them. 
um, well, the two kids and the woman that are with them, but she, she did. Uh, the way it ended was kind of weird. Um, the woman who gets the book, uh, uh, it felt a lot like Todd versus, uh, the, not Todd versus, but Todd and the Book of Pure Evil, which, yes, yeah, so e Evil Dead came out first, but the show feels a lot like Todd versus. Todd in the Book of Pretty Evil. Um, but yeah, that's I love both of them. So I'm going to get season two when I can, when I can afford it, when it's on DVD and whatnot. And then we'll watch it, and then we'll check it out, and we'll be like, wow. I wonder why they're only doing ten episodes each season. You know? Whatever. Uh, yeah, peace.